I text him. I said, hey, where about in San Antonio are you? Tight girly, what your schedule look like? LOL, Chester the molester. You go to sleep thinking about me. Yep. Now, what that schedule look like? I want to laugh in person. It's $250 an hour. Send me the cash app. Stop by any time and let me know when you need the cash app. And at least you know you're the molester. Send the money, punk, and I'll tap dance on your face. When have you ever heard anybody that's serious about doing anything speak in this manner? This is wrestling talk. But anyways, you got that pussy in you. I knew it, 52 cocks. You pricing yourself out. I'm not paying you to beat your ass. Womp womp. LOL. Just say you're broke. The idea that because I don't want to give you $250, I'm the broke one. No, you're the broke one for needing 250 spar. But I tell them, you don't even have a house. You're a professional bum who travels on someone else's dime. Well, the way you talk, I should have known, well, Chester, it's pay to play. Ain't that what prostitutes say? Womp womp. I put, bro, you a bitch. Two swimming pools, Chester. But anyway, you just wanted to talk to me so bad. Bro, them poolers ain't fucking yours. It's the apartment complex. And your name ain't even on the fucking lease. Shut your ass up. I already know what your life is like. Get the cash out. He did all that talking about me flying him out to Texas when he was in New York. And now he want $250 for me to spar him. It makes no sense now that he's in he's in actual range for the pull-up game. But he put seat, Chester molester, and stay away from kids. I put, bro, get your teeth fixed. It was always about the money. But you're too retarded to see that. No, I, that's exactly what I see. I see you robbing people. That's why we have our issue. You're too dumb. You think I owe you my attention? That's how I know you have no bitches. You sit at home broke playing games with men. Well, I'm not them. It costs to deal with me. Prostitute. Prostitute talk. Get your money up or there is a free way. Just run up and get a hospital bed. Now we talking. Now this is my language that I like to hear and speak. But when you was in New York, you was willing to beat me up for free. Bro, stop saying retard until you show me a high school diploma. Where you at? Let's do the run up. I'll stomp your ass. LOL. Hmm. Well, the school address is up. You are a retard. I put, what's your address? I want personal. I'll give you my personal address. We could do it in my backyard with your mama and your girlfriend watching. Make sure your girlfriend is there. But enough talk, because you been wanting to talk to me. Retard, you call the school. I had to call the school to try to get a hold of this nigga because he'd been ducking me. I put, where you where you at, donkey from Shrek? I don't like you, Chester, so you figure it out. I put, where you staying at? LOL, terrible. Your teeth are yellow and fucked up. LOL, you are so mad. You at, you at the gym seven days? Where you at? Yes, sir, seven days. Anyways, I'm done, Chester the molester, in the basement choking your chicken. Why you worried about my chicken, bro? See? That's funny. Bye, Chester. So I got to go looking for him. So I called him several times to try to set it up. And of course, he didn't respond to my calls. And he stopped texting me, even though he said the run up was free. I mean, let's schedule the run up. But anyway, he said he's there seven days. So I went up there to fucking get my hospital bed because that's my type of language, man. Uh, I'm pulling up on you, especially if you're in my city. I want to laugh at these jokes in person. You know what I mean? Show you a little southern hospitality. You know what I mean? Even though you showed me disrespect, I was going to show you some love and cure all that hatred in your heart that you got. But I don't know if this this is the main thing that stood out to me that he said is it's always about the money. It's always about the money with him. That's why he can't afford to get his ass whooped, because the moment he get his ass whooped, he can no longer teach that bullshit that he's teaching. He can't go across the country and travel and not work for a living like everybody else. I sat there and waited in the parking lot until that bitch closed and he never showed up. He never showed up. He had a million reasons to why he was there seven days, but really wasn't there seven days. And like I said, man, I've called this guy. I've tried everything under the sun. This guy showed me where his heart at. His nuts shriveled up, and he just ain't got it. So it is where it is, man. I'm, I'm not going to continue to give this guy any more of my energy. The owner of the gym is real respectful and real cool, so this is no beef against him. My beef is with Ty Gurley, and I feel like he has the IQ of a, of a fucking gnat, and he has the respect of one, too. And I just don't think he's willing to risk it all. And he should just say that. His whole entire page, he goes to the park and spars bums for free. But all of a sudden, he wants to charge me $250. I got to do this. I got to do that, et cetera, et cetera. Bro, just say, if you're scared, just say that, man. I'm not going to continue to go do this back and forth with you. 
because you're a person that'd rather be heard than seen. You talked all this shit, all this shit. When you was miles and miles away, you was willing to go back and forth. Now that you're in the same city, shit, it's church mouth, it's crickets in this bitch. Because you don't really want to smoke. Just But just say that, man. Nobody's forcing you to do anything. I know that if you get your ass whooped, you you lose it all. You can't no longer teach this bullshit that you're running out there teaching. But you said the the that I'm scared because the pull-up is free. I said as you at the gym every day. You say, yeah, I pull up. And you ain't there. I still ain't heard no word back, man. We supposed to, we supposed to get it in, you and I. But you posting videos of you sparring students. Uh, sped up in fast motion, and then y'all doing tech sparring, and you trying to f- stun on the students instead of teaching them. It's more about the. It's more about you than it is. Like I said, you a man that rather be heard than seen. You rather look like the part than actually be the part. But man, I'm done with. And I can't continue to go back and forth and lift wrestle with a guy who had a whole bunch of stay whenever he was in New York, but now that he's in Texas, he ain't got much to say. I can't continue to go back with a guy who spars people for a living. He don't have no real job. This is his his main source of income. Most people who ain't in it 100 percent have part time jobs. Even fighters, boxers have part time jobs to maintain themselves. I'm talking about a bum who travels and lives off of other people's dime, who can't even show me his name on no deed or anything. He lives off of people. He lives off his students uh, being naive. I can't continue to keep going back and forth with this type of guy because he ain't even my same caliber of dude. This dude is weak. It would be pointless for me to continue. This, this guy is the type of guy that write his name on the orange juice in the refrigerator so his his baby mama's stepkids won't drink it. I can't continue to go back with it, but check this out. I came to spar. Uh, there's no sparring today. No sparring? No, sir. You have to be a member of the gym to spar. I will, I'll sign up for a membership. Oh, yeah, no, but there's no sparring today. We spar on Friday. No spar on Friday? Yes, sir. Is that what you're just trying to, you know, get better? Or? Uh, to be all the way honest with you, man, I, I came to spar like this. Yeah. Uh, why? Why? Because he. Go turn off the radio. He's been taking personal shots at me, so calling me a molester and everything, bro. All because we have a difference of opinion of style, and I don't take disrespect lightly. So yeah, I, I just, I just. What I would recommend, I'm the owner, so okay. you know, you're dealing with me. Okay. So yeah, no disrespect. Totally cool. I understand. What what I would do, if you guys want to throw down, I, I would just, you know, I'll, I'll have Burley coordinate with you, and then what we'll do is you and him can throw down. We'll close the gym. Nobody will be here. Just be you guys. Okay. And then this way we can settle our differences and everybody's happy. So how do I do that? Do um, I do let me get your phone number and I'll make it happen. Okay. Keep going, guys. Yeah, well, thanks for being honest with me. That's all I need. Honestly. Um, what's your phone number, sir? Uh, 830. 830. 699. 699. 2140. 2140. What's your name? Brandon. Brandon? Okay. Uh, Uvalde or close by or? Nah, I stay far. <laughs> okay. I stay far. I, I, he, he, already, he told me to come up here, so I showed up. You know? Yeah, but um, the, the problem is, is like right now I'm just training MMA fighters. So he either, it was, it was, he overlooked it or something came up. I mean, he would have told me if he was going to meet you, you know. But, uh, yeah, I'll, what I'll do is I'll call you today and I'll set it up. And you guys can throw it All right, bro. I probably should stay around this area. I, I would if you know, it's something you want to do. I mean, once I get a hold of Burley, 